From the Franklin Hall studio at Kent State University, it's The Agenda. And now, here's your host, Brian Presley. Hey, good evening and welcome to The Agenda. Thank you, live audience. Today is May Day and it's the Live Audience Spectacular. I'm your host, Brian Presley, and this is the first time The Agenda has ever seen May. You're welcome, world. <laughs> And last week in Vermont, a local police force followed a moose for no apparent reason other than the fact that they had nothing better to do. Residents followed along taking pictures saying that it was a once in a lifetime experience. Yeah, right. At the end of the day, the moose disappeared outdoors, but the cops discovered a sack full of marijuana? The DEA says they plan on using moose in the uh, future drug busts, but that might not work out well because honestly, moose are just always getting stoned. Check it out, it's TV Two Dorms. Guys, come on in, hurry up. I got some good stuff to show you. Welcome to my crib in the fridge. Red Bull, all day, every day. And then freezer. We got some ham and cheese. We got pepperoni pizza. We got towels, coals on sale, $5.99. Smelly up in here, you got a little axe, you know, you take that, you just go. We got the boudoir a moi closet. Mile High Club right here. Magic happens up here, and you know what else happens? Magic on the futon. Some ladies like a down under, you know? I go down under. Hats on hats on hats on hats on hats on hats on hats. None of them might. Google TV hooked up. I can search porn on here all night if I want to. What the f Dude, it's TV two cribs. You're a dorm, what the f Man, Gabe, just go back to sleep. All right, we gotta go check out the whip right now. You know, it's a nice Schwinn, the racer. I'm planning on getting uh, cherry spokes in the middle. But I gotta get that, uh, that, spe that 7.1 speaker system on here though somehow. I I'll figure it out. I mean, you seen my dorm? You've seen my fridge, you've even seen my bike. So now I think it's time for you to politely leave. <sighs> A University of Florida student claimed to be on acid on Saturday when he stripped naked and asked police not to cut his penis off. He later changed his mind and requested that they do cut it off. Okay, the lesson learned here is that if you're on the fence about getting sexual reassignment surgery, just take some LSD. Personally, I don't need drugs to know how much I hate my penis. You stupid son of a bitch, I'm gonna get rid of you someday. I just hate it. Ho, 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 ho,
Sporting in the sporting world. I'm Brett Chocolate Honky Meat Burger. Uh huh. And I'm Jake Baby Back Ribs. Uh, you've just <laughs> entered the sports zone. We're going to talk some ball talk. We're going to talk about the best of sports and sporting accessories. First, I'm going to fix my coat. And then on the chopping block, on Monday, B ball bouncer Jason Collins came out of the giant closet he had been in for 34 years. Collins became the first balls player to be openly gay in any of the four American sports leagues. He said that basketball is a big gay family and that every family has a gay brother or sister or cousin, but this man has been touted as a saint, a sinner, a winner, and a giver instead of a receiver. Mm -hmm. With Collins' gay announcement came a wave of support and uh, development of a new league. The NGBL, or the National Gay Basketball League, has just been created. For those used, you know, more fruity picks, the NGBL is pretty much the same thing as the NBA, except they've gotten rid of rules that make the NBA boring, like defensive fouls, technical fouls, and they got the short shorts back. Nah, <laughs> my favorite part of basketball. All right, Zilla, so what's crack a with you? Oh, uh, you know, not too much, you know, sports stuff, but I've been taking this pottery class. I've learned how to throw, I, you know, uh, in the kiln and stuff. <laughs> and it's taught me a lot He's about... He's just kidding, we don't support art in any way. <laughs> I mean, in sports, what are you talking about? You know, there's a lot more physical activity to pottery than you might think. La, 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 la. Sports fields, jocks, ramp, middle parts, <laughs> sloths, sloths. Exactly. Speaking of sloths, one of the main keys to the NFL draft this year was adding the giant sack of money into play. Uh, as much as we love football, though, the draft is super boring. It's way more interesting league and swing. No, I'm not talking about hockey. I'm not talking about baseball or golf. Really boring We're stuff. We're talking about the National Chicken Hatching League. It's uh, having a really exciting season. Sports fans are watching in anticipation for the game this week where we're going to see some really important baby chickens being born. The gruesome chicks are ruthless as they waddle around with their cute yellow fluffy feathers. The cluckers are expected to tear apart the eggshells this weekend. It's cute and brutal at the same time. Mm -hmm. You know, since this is our last show before the summer, we want to let you guys know in Tube Town, you know, what you should be doing when you're watching this summer. Uh, we gonna go first, Meat Burger? Of course I do, Zildog. What are you talking about? I'd be checking out the PGA Tour of Death. Mm. 150 pro golfers enter Augusta wielding a golf bag full of machetes, ammunition, and as many flamethrowers as one person can carry, and that's one. And one walks away. What about you? Well, uh, Meat Burger, I'd be watching the women across the street from me all summer. I mean, uh... All right, well, that's all the time we have for sports side. <laughs> Uh, you know, before we go, I want to leave you all with some sad news. I will no longer be part of the sports side team. I'm going to leave my partner to be exclusive announcer of the cockfights over at TVS. Uh, I'd like to thank Mirid Beer for his time on the show and all the laughs and anal fissures, man. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Well, I'm going to miss you, Zilla. I guess for the last time together on camera. Sports! 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 Sports!